Welcome back, everyone. You're a working mom and you want to go back to school. Just make it happen. That story from my colleague, Julie Moran. I'm thinking that a good title for this segment could be No More Excuses. That's it. Just erase them from your thoughts. You're about to meet two women who went back to school, children in tow, and received their MBAs. How'd they do it? Online studies, of course. Meet our super women, Allison Sievers and Brandy McCall of Colorado Christian University's College of Adult and Graduate Studies. So glad to have you guys on the show. Yes, thanks Thank for you having so us. Much. I mean, talk about the balancing act, which is our show, is you both balancing what you did and receiving those MBAs. Congratulations. Thank Absolutely. you. Yes. All right, Allison, I want to start with you. You're a working mom of two, and um, I have two daughters, and I can't imagine what it must have been like trying to go back to school and what challenges did you face? Oh, there were several, honestly, yeah. um, but you know, some more challenging than others. Ever since I was a little girl, I always, you know, dreamt about going to college, wanting to just experience that. So fast forward several years, and here I am in grad school, and about halfway through the program, I found out that we were expecting our second child. Okay. Yes. So that kind of definitely just shook things up for me. And so now I'm a working mom. Um, I'm, you know, full-time student, grad student, and I'm pregnant, and you know, just juggling all those hats. And you're trying to be a wife as well. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, some challenges came up like that, or even just little things that come up in, you know, in life. And so, you know, it's just about carving out that time and just making sure that you're making it a priority. But I had the support of my husband, my family, um, students in the classroom like Brandy uh, with me that just really just um, encouraged me to continue on. And I'm just so glad that I finished. And Brandy, you over there with four children, working mom. That must have been so tough. How did you do it? Yes, it was tough. You're absolutely right. And like Allison mentioned, you know, you have to make a priority as to whether or not you submit an assignment. You know, if you have a paper due that evening or, you know, if you have a sick child that you want to cuddle with because they're not feeling well. And so the thing about it is that you have to keep in mind that with online education, it is flexible. And that's the really convenient thing about it is that you're able to manage your schedule on your own terms. Oh, that's uh, so important. And, you know, both of you, I have to say, got your MBAs from CCU. Congratulations on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we actually graduated together. I love that. Mm -hmm. And Allison, what drew you to a school like Colorado Christian University? Well, you know, first and foremost, that it's Christ-centered education, um, teaching from a Christian worldview. Uh, but then also, you just looking for a university that really um, held their academic excellence um, and just really concentrated on that achievement for students. And so I was looking for a university that had small class sizes, that had the flexibility of an online environment that let me, you know, take one class at a time. Perfect. Um, and each class, you know, is just about a month long. And so you were just able to just manage that. So much easier than trying to juggle, you know, multiple classes yes, at once. Yes, absolutely. And, and I want to talk to you about transferring credits. A lot of people worry about that. And what would your advice be on that? Transferring credits can be a tricky thing for a lot of students. I think the thing is that people try to transfer schools and they try to find a solution um, by transferring schools, but yeah. oftentimes that can actually hurt a student rather than be a solution. And the reason why is that when you transfer credits, oftentimes universities will have different requirements for their core or general education. And so students don't realize that. The thing about it is when you transfer, you could potentially be losing a great deal of your credits because of the different requirements. And you don't want to do that. You don't. <laughs> the cool thing about CCU is that we do have a very generous transfer credit policy. And another thing that students don't realize is that we will also offer credit for life experience. Perfect. That is huge. Life experience is huge. Now, we talk about CCU and the word Christians in the title. What would you tell them about CCU? Well, I would say that Christ is at the center of the university. Everything that the university does, every class that you take at CCU um, really just teaches from that Christian worldview that I spoke of earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I would say that the College of Adult and Graduate Studies, which includes the online program, uh, doesn't require that students sign a statement of faith or that they're Christian to attend. So they welcome any student to apply to the university. Wonderful. And so really what that allows for them to do is to be able to experience a university that is um, you know, centered on values. You know, there's values. a right way to we do things and a wrong way a to do things. a lot more values exactly. in today's society. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to say, if Brandy, if you can do it, all of our viewers out there with four kids and working, mm -hmm. anybody can do it, yes, right? Absolutely. It just takes the will. Yes. Ladies, you're inspiring. Thank you so much for being on the set today. We'd love having you.
Thank you. And for more information on returning to school on your time, visit ccu.edu or our website, thebalancingact.com.